Can I help you? Yes, have you got it? Well? Great, thank you, officer. That's all I wanted. Payment for services rendered. If you continue to stay here, I just ask that you please pay your nightly bill in advance starting tomorrow. He's not sorry about his behavior for your sake. Now that you have money, he really wants to make sure you're not angry with him. I'll unlock the electronic lock to your room. All the doors lock automatically at 9 p.m. Please pay for each night in advance starting tomorrow. 20 real per night. I'll take a room here too. Of course. Always happy to have officers from the RCM as guests. Anything else I can do for you? Do I have a shaker in my hand? Is this... is this a shaker? It's not a shaker. It's nothing. He's holding nothing. It is but an imitation. Am I wearing a little... Am I smiling? Do you... That's right! Play it calm. This... Like what? This is the door to the room you redecorated. Just a moment. We should talk about our progress on the investigation. Let's go out to the balcony. Now then, we should talk about the investigation, but I also feel you're a bit hazy on the RCM. Our role here, our rights, our jurisdiction, basically. I have a cigarette every night when I go over my notes. It's something of a ritual. Oh man, he looks so devastatingly cool with that cigarette. I apologize, but I only brought one with me. I have exactly one cigarette every night while going over my notes. You mean this? This isn't cool. It's an unnecessary trial of will and unhealthy. Keeping the habit within the parameters he's given himself takes a lot of focus. It would be easier to simply quit. Yet, were he to quit, he would lose the cool factor. This man relishes his cool quite a bit, we are told. Yes, it's been a long and eventful day. Well, you were so hungover that you couldn't keep it down when we approached the hangman, so we didn't even inspect the body. But we performed a thorough search of the premises of the crime scene. That's great. It's not my job to evaluate your methodology, officer. I'm just going through the facts. As for the interviews, we didn't get to meet about Claire, but we did get into the harbor. It'll be easier to reach him tomorrow. We didn't talk to the Wild Pines rep. We really must do that tomorrow. Above all, though, today was exhausting. What's with all the running? You run a lot. Is that a standard pressing 41 practice? I have a really good theory about why you're running so fast, son. Just you wait until we get up tomorrow. It's impressive. 
especially for a man your age, and in those hills. Nice shoes, by the way. I like the green. Goes with the orange. Thank you for the compliment. We could manage it even in wooden clods. There are uncanny running reservoirs in this body. God knows why. They're quite limited, actually. The power officers of the Rebachol Citizens Militia exercise most frequently is imposing fines of up to 1,000 real for offenses in accordance with an interdepartmental schedule. The RCM's primary role is to ensure safety. We are not really supposed to play any part in the economic structure of Rebachol. Yes, although indirectly, as citizens can always request records from their local station. Officers of the RCM have been known to take bribes of less than the prescribed fine amount. It undermines trust in the RCM. We can arrest people, of course, but rather than bringing someone in directly, it's preferable to serve a station closely. It prevents confusion and overcrowding. You can't. Those who don't show up become fugitives, though, and have fewer legal rights when they are eventually caught. It's about power projection. Thus far, they seem to mostly show up. As you may have gathered from the fact that we are expected to carry a record of our kills, like the one in your watermarks, we are permitted to use whatever force is necessary, and strongly admonished not to abuse that power. You have to supply compelling evidence for why it was necessary to use lethal force. In these cases, your partner is usually your witness. Not a good position to be in, by the way. Internal Affairs handles these cases thoroughly, by cross-examining you for inconsistencies. It is hard to cover for anyone, which is for the best. We don't convict. We arrest and send them to coalition government courts in Couron and La Delta. The prosecution works off our testimonies and records, which is why it's paramount to keep them. The coalition government, and the moral intern more broadly. The RCM was formed by the coalition government to restore order in the international zone after the revolution. So we did. Now we attempt to maintain that order. No more, no less. Or perhaps it is better to say we were allowed to form it's a point of contention whether the citizens of Revachol or the coalition government founded the RCM. Be sentimental if you like. Either way, the Moralinton leases us the right to keep the peace in this city, and they will take it away if we misuse it. Or if they think you do. The Moralist International are the world's largest political organization. You know who they are. They have been running this place after the revolution failed. They are a union of center-left and center-right parties across the real belt. Our coalition government is just one of its many projects. They also run the ICP, EPIS, most intergovernmental organizations in the world. What do they believe in? They are Dolorians. They believe they continue the humanist project set forth by her innocence Dolores Day four centuries ago. Others say they are just technocrats. Those others say they continue the humanist project set forth by Dolores Day. Interesting question. It's a blue forget-me-not. Their motto is love, compassion, self-discipline. I think you can gauge what they want you to think of them from that. Something kind and usual. Something even a little feminine, but in a strict manner. A historic figure? 
the author of the modern age? You will have to look elsewhere for opinions. The subject of humanism is too abstract for me. For you, she is something painful, though it's hard to say why. The moral in turn are a fact. I try not to have opinions on facts until they change. And it doesn't look like that's about to happen. Do you? We are in what is called the twilight of international law. The laws we claim to enforce come from the EMI. Without them, we are simply vigilantes. Then you will adore Martinez. For many of these people, the Union especially, vigilantes is precisely what we are. Personally, I don't enjoy it much. The lights of the orphan district are reflected in his glasses. The red and golden orbs of the motorway sliding like pearls on a string from east to west as Revachol commutes back to the suburbs. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Monday is over. An aerostatic passes overhead, the whiskers of its floodlights on the ground below. Kitsuragi's glasses light up as he looks to the sky. Two glowing circles. They really don't like us here. And the mouth on that kid, Kuno. It's different in land, in Jamrock, in the GRIH. It's our fault for leaving this place to the dogs, to the Union, to the company. Not daring to come here more often. This place has fallen between the cracks, the jurisdictions of our two precincts. We run this city. West of the river is RCM land. It's incredibly hard. Human beings are... But we are in control, and it's worth it. The organization works. Our systems work. If they didn't, the city would disintegrate. Me too. But I wouldn't count on any drastic changes in our lifetimes. Yeah, it's getting very cold now. Let's go. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face, adorned with the expression. The bed is cold and not particularly inviting, but it's yours. The sheets look awful. The sheets feel at once coarse and clammy against your skin. The bed sags beneath your weight as you stretch out and finally close your eyes. And then sleep doesn't come. And then sleep doesn't come. Maybe it's the bed's fault. Its synthetic filling has separated into hard lumps. The pillowcase smells oddly. It barely covers your toes, stretching over your soft belly. This is your body here, intimate and warm, breathing. 
is a little better. Colors, scenes, and half-formed phrases still litter your mind. Part of you is still trying to solve the case, isn't it? Something to do with, what was it that the lieutenant said? Union? And it's gone again. Your thoughts lost between the slowing brain waves. Your breathing steadies. A great silence washes over you until your eyelids twitch in your sleep and images, images start forming. says on the can, Harry. Answer the question. You're not kidding anyone, Harry. You don't remember shit. Tell me. Do you remember your wife's hand on your face? You know who I am. I'm the bad day. The one where you ask her, and then later in the streets wandering. It's the worst day of all time, Harry dear. And it's coming. She will hear about it on the phone. Reality will turn into a grotesque nightmare. This will be the last thing you did to her. Tell me, do you remember the love of your life? Funky baby, you stayed. It was the rest of it that left. While you just stood there, with one hand on the bottle, and the other on your dick, watching it go. Tell me, where are your friends? Human beings have friends, Harry boy. Where the hell are yours? No, it's gone. Three times gone and never coming back. You failed. You failed me. You failed Elysium. Everything. The pale and the isolas on the surface. The outer magnetosphere. Burning, furious truth. Eight thousand years of written history. You really dropped the ball, Harry. 4.6 billion people, and you failed every single one of them. You really fucked up. You're not coming back from shit. Thrashing around in that High conductivity state of yours, bumping into things and acting like a clown? Who are you kidding? You're trying to what? I can't hear you. This is just a word dream now. Jumbled up garbage. The pictures are gone. The bed rises to meet you. A thin, sleep-like state. More glass than velvet, grinding in your head. So something is wrong. Sleep shouldn't be this bad. This dry, this unnourishing. There's something wrong with your thoughts. Some kind of new type of hangover. Oh yes, party boy. And it's worse than the one before. Just think of the shit you saw. Here it comes too. So soon already, a silent alarm goes off in your head like clockwork. Barely let you sleep at all. Time to get those clothes on, Harry. Time to go to work in the shit factory. 
victory. Good going, buddy. Really? Because you feel even worse this morning than you did last night. You mean, why are you so tired? Too tired and down to even think? It is worrying, isn't it? You can't be a detective like this. Detectives need to be able to think. That's not really true. Your heart has finally pumped all the speed out of your system, Buster. Time to get some more. You're too weak to say no now. Waking up is the worst part. Maybe somewhere down the line you could decline. Of course, Martinez is speed central. You just gotta poke around, follow your nose. You and Speed will be happy again. You will make her come home. This time, it will be different. <laughs>